It's 3D. Wait a minute. We are not in a Disney World <laughs> resort. Sarah's just got that Friday feels and needs some Stacy in her life. And I'm gonna bring you along. I'm gonna go to the doctor in like a minute. I just gotta get my shoes on and go. We'll see how much I can vlog. <laughs> okay, I'll try to get a better view on the way out, but this right here is where the doctor is. I'm like 95% certain this is one of the old Disney owned buildings back when Disney created Celebration. Cause look at like, look at the architecture of it. I'm on Celebration Boulevard in Celebration, Florida. I'll show you that bus stop over there. That looks like Hollywood Studios S, that same era that they made Celebration. Look at this fancy place. This is a big old elevator. I don't know if I need four or four R. My email does not say. All right, I'm done with the doctor, but look at this, the architecture of this like bench, maybe old bus stop. It reminds me of Hollywood Studios, and I think, I think it's because this is one of the original celebration offices. Um, got all my paperwork, gonna get a physical done in the beginning of June, gotta get blood work done the end of May, by the end of May. Um, the style, she's like, it's looking on the, like you're already on the tail end of it just keep with the hot compresses so thank you everybody for like the hints and suggestions of hot and cold compresses and tea bag compresses so that's been helpful um, she's gonna I'm gonna go see a pulmonologist about potentially having sleep apnea because I snore like a monster and Christina was like when we were in Chicago our last trip Christina was like fairly certain you just like keep stop you stop breathing while you're sleeping which would make sense it's could be why I'm always tired not just because of lack of sleep but that could be an issue so she gave me some referrals and got some paperwork but now i think i'm uh i gotta go to the office now because i do have to go to work today so thank you for joining me on that little fun adventure before a hot and sunny weekend in orlando is it really a day going late into work without getting some starbucks this is a phantom this is by the tijuana flats that we went to for dinner the other day well, if it isn't my favorite little walkway. Mm -hmm. Look who's with me. Yeah. It's hours later. And by hours, I mean hours. When For did some you last, reason, last, did you record at the doctor? Yeah, and last time I, I vlogged was going to Starbucks. Um, update, that building I showed you guys earlier is not old, it's actually really new. When I was leaving that building, I passed by like six buildings that were, they were being constructed, all in the same architecture. So, the architecture might be old, like original it's celebration. Cool it's all like based off of it. Yeah. Um, I also, it took me over an hour to get home from work. What's up with that? So we're going to Magic Kingdom because it's up until 11. And we parked at our favorite resort. It's not our favorite. <laughs> It's my other favorite. I have two favorites. Ooh, I tell you are calling back. No, because it's too tempting for me to jump in there. The first thing we're doing is going into air conditioning. Yeah, it was actually the hottest day in this year so far. And in Florida. And I was inside all day, so I didn't even feel it. It felt good, like it didn't feel like exorbitantly hot. I have a moment to, to talk about real quick. And it's it's one of those weird things about living here. 
Sarah's no idea what I'm about to say, but I think she agrees with me. Do you agree with me? So, we come here sometimes, like today, and like yesterday, Animal Kingdom, where it's later. There's already people waiting for the nighttime shows and spectaculars and fireworks. And I'm like, okay, we're just getting, just starting our fun. But I like to think about all these families that are sitting around, tired. They're just zonked from being so, having such a great day. I like to think about like all the fun that they've had and done. I forgot to tell you something that's occurring. And it's something that Sarah's never heard of before, and it's called the Fast Pass Friday Fizzle. Ooh! It's when Sarah comes in clutch, like super clutch, with last minute, late in the game, Fast Passes. We just had one that for Small World, and it was actually a pretty long line, so that was like a solid choice to do it. I was kind of jonesing for it. And because we had a little rest stop at the Grand Floridian, because it was beautiful, we actually went to Small World right before it ended, so now that we walked over from Small World to Splash Mountain, our Splash Pass is ready to go. And it's like a 45 minute wait right now, so it'll be good. I just felt rain though, and it was supposed to have a Are higher chance sure of rain. Are you sure it's not Splash Mountain? I'm sure. Because it just touched my toes, and we're on the other side of the <laughs> briar patch. You never know. Far from the mountain. Best, best AC in Disney World, right? Best what? AC. <laughs> Hands down. Next to Japan, of course. I thought I got gotcha. I didn't record the drop. But why? <laughs> a little live streaming action. A little fireworks action. Or is it your imagination? Mm -hmm. And consider this dismaying observation. This chamber has no windows and no doors. <laughs> Okay, we're going to my favorite ride in all Disney World, which makes me pumped. But what's getting me even more pumped, because I've never seen it this crazy, look how insane the dance floor, the Tomorrowland dance floor is looking. My best friend, Sarah Brookhart, is a genius. Post fireworks fast pass for Space Mountain. 70 minute wait. Look at this standby line. It's going all the way to People Mover. But we got ourselves 
a good old fashioned fancy passy. Thank you. What just happened? Quick. Here, throw up the two. They needed a two. We got on right away. We just skipped like 15 people, maybe about three or four rides because we were a two rider. Paying attention to the queue. Classic. Sarah thought she was being awesome and getting a, a Barnstormer Fast Pass because we don't do Barnstormer too often, but we walked the back road from Tomorrowland over and very quickly realized there's no necessity for a Fast Pass tonight. So what I'm going to do is cancel and get a new one? And try and get a new one. Cool. Thank you. Have I ever been on this on night at night? I don't think so. Why do y'all change to the back? Oh no, Quietest roller coaster. <laughs> Not a single nobody person. Said nobody said or did anything. There was no background noises or music going on in the attraction. It was just All like, you heard were the wheels rolling. Like it was the quietest and creepiest thing ever. Oh, look how backlit that is. Wait for the transition. Ah. I feel like this is quickly becoming our water at Morocco version of for Magic Kingdom, which is where we come in for the free smells and to watch them make some candy. Three of my leaders for my college program are leaders at Storybooks because I just saw a photo of them all together. I feel like we never see them anymore I here. Know. We saw your leaders like the first month we lived here, but after the first, like pretty much after Hurricane Irma, we never saw them ever again. Yeah. Oh, 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 these are the best looking things ever. Wow, from this, from this vantage point, it looks like a pretty empty Magic Kingdom if you do if I do say so myself. What time is it 10? Yeah. Exactly one hour until park close. But I think we've been kind of kicking butt. Yeah. We actually we haven't just... been in Adventureland once. Yeah. So we got a Pirates Fast Pass. We gotta go that way if we're gonna go through the castle. Yeah. We're gonna go through the castle, say hello to Main Street again real quick. We'll say hi to the castle. It's the run they want. <laughs> Oh my god, we may have made this boat. We may, we may. I think we did. Yes, thank you. Oh my gosh. That was the luckiest queue we've ever had, and it's always gonna be the luckiest queue we could ever have. We're back at the Grand. We just heard some unconfirmed, un semi unconfirmed, but definitely not fully clear news about a place that we love called Whispering Canyon. It's a table service restaurant at our absolute favorite resort. I know I'm saying that at Grand Floridian, sorry. But at Whisper, or Wilderness Lodge, Whispering Canyon is an amazing restaurant. It's like, there's all kinds of shenanigans. The, the customers heckle you. You ask for ketchup. Everybody brings like 75 bottles to your table. They just like throw the Pony races. You. you get your straws thrown at you. People are saying on Twitter, and Disney World kind of confirmed it in responses on Twitter that as of this week like there's no more shenanigans so put a comment down below if you know like i don't think there's been like a con like a confirmed detail of, like what's changing but disney i've seen the twitter responses from the official disney twitter that was like i'm super sorry if you're disappointed but we are always looking to revamp things for the experience uh we don't know yet what the future holds for whispering canyon like by name so that's I'm a, I think that's a bad move, but I, I also know Disney doesn't do anything without thinking about it. So I'm curious to see what is actually going to happen. And it does have good food. Obviously, we love the resort. Like, it has other good qualities besides that, but that really is, like... I told Sarah, I think it's 50-50. Like, 50% yeah. of the reason why people go there is because of the food and the style, because you can get all you can eat. 
fire. And it's really like, good, really good food. So. But I think that's only 50% of the reason why people go. I think the other 50% of the reason is the experience and the shenanigans. So I think a lot of people may not go anymore. We're home, we're home, we're home. You did not address the Maleficent floats end today. We were not there. We were not there. There was no sign of it even while we were there. Like it, they carried on the day. And most importantly, there was no injuries today. Right. There's a lot of photos all over Instagram about it. So yeah. we'll find out more as it comes. Yeah. We'll certainly miss our bums. Fairly so they'll, certain they'll. They'll bring her back. It'll just be yeah. how long. But I wanted to say thank you because tomorrow morning um, is going to be an awesome morning because we got an awesome gift in the mail today at our P.O. Box. I wasn't going to go check it today because I was like, eh, I don't know about it, but it's Friday. And I was like, maybe I should go check it because it's Friday. If there's anything in there, I don't want it to sit there over the weekend. And one of our viewers, Maria, sent us this awesome Hawaiian pack. Coffee? One yeah. pack of coffee and one pack of coconut Hawaiian pancake waffle mix. So we're literally going to make both of those tomorrow morning. Like, that's going to be my coffee I make tomorrow. And then we're going to make the waffles or pancakes, probably pancakes, pancakes in the morning. So I literally want to go to you, bed just, just so we can <laughs> wake up and make all this. So thank you, Maria. You're the best. Uh, we never expect anything in our PO box, but we really appreciate when there is anything. Yes, thank you. All righty. The pup is ready for bed. Should we have her say goodnight? Yeah. She literally just got on the ground, got comfy, put her head on the paws. It's Ever good to be home. Everybody loves to see you, Eve. Who wouldn't? Here's a kiss. <laughs> kiss my head. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.